Welcome back, Great Jobs. Yes, we are busy working on the February 2010 supplementary accounting paper. We're taking your calls on 0861-058-262. We want you to work with us on questions that are troubling you, questions that are giving you any difficulties on this particular exam paper. Because remember, like I've alluded to in our earlier uh, uh, sessions, the more you work on your past papers, the better prepared you are for that final exam. And yes, you can count the number of days before you have to walk in and write your accounting paper. But we want to be of assistance to you. We want to prepare you so that when you walk in there, you've got to aim for the moon. Yes, that's right. More about that later. Okay, we were busy with the question. Our number once again, if you want to call us, call us on 0861-058-262. And if you want to drop us an email, please go ahead at info at learnextra.co.za. Remember, we want to solve your problems. Okay, we're busy with the question on the projected income statement and we're busy with 6.3.1, which says, calculate the cost of the new vehicle which she plans to purchase on the 1st of May 2010. Let's look at the information that we have. Obviously, now remember, when you're buying a new vehicle, it is coupled with depreciation. That's right. Any vehicle, any asset, in terms of vehicles and equipment would depreciate. So let's look at what information we have regarding the depreciation. If we look at our depreciation on vehicles, here goes, what do we find? We find that it was 2000 for that month there, isn't it? What month are we dealing with? April, but from May, what happens to the depreciation? It changes to 9,100. Got that? Okay, therefore, what do we say? We say, fine, let's take the 9,100 minus the 2,000, which will give me my 7,100 rand depreciation based on what? Based on the new vehicle that we are going to acquire or we want to acquire in May. Right, so the depreciation on that vehicle is 7,100 per month. Important information. Now what do we do? Let's take our calculators and say 7,100 times 12 to get it annually and it will give me a figure of 85,200 per annum. What do I know? This is equal to, let's see what is it equal to. My rate of depreciation on my vehicles is 20%, so therefore, the 85,200 will be equal to 20%, right? Do you know what I'm doing? I said, let me take you back to the calculation so you understand what I'm doing. We said 9,100 would be the depreciation including the new vehicle, minus the 2,000, when it, that in other words, what was the old vehicle? So the, the new vehicle on its own would be 7,100 per month. Great. Now, take that, multiply it by 12 because it was per month to get an annual figure of 85,200. You all with me, guys? Great. Now, the 85,200 is equal to 20%. Clear? 20%. How do I know that? Because I'm told. What am I told? I'm told that on my vehicles, on the new one that I want to acquire, there's my rate of depreciation, 20% per annum on cost. Got it? Okay, coming back here. Now, if there is 20%, which is my known, my unknown, the cost price of that vehicle is 100%. X is equal to 100%. And now, and now, Yes, now we're going to do some maths. 85,200 is equal to 20% and 
x is equal to 100%, let's solve for x. I'm sure I sound like your maths educator now. Yes, accounting involves maths. Let's do the calculation together. Cross multiply. 85,200 times 100 will be equal to 20x. Got that? 85,200 times the 100 is equal to 20x. What do I do now? Take my calculator. 85,200 times 100 is equal to 8,520,000. 8,520,000 is equal to 20x. x is equal to that divided by 20. Why? Because the rule states what you do on the left hand side, you do on the right hand side. So therefore, I, multi I divided by 20. To get rid of the 20, I divided the right hand side by 20. So what I do on the right hand side, I do on the left hand side. And therefore, we find that divided that by 20. And my answer is 426,000. X is equal to 426,000. What is that? That matriculants is the cost price of my vehicle. There you see it, 426,000. And you thought it was difficult. Not difficult. Understand what you are doing. And if you can understand what you are doing, then definitely the answers will flow. And, 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 and if you work in a systematic manner, if, if your modus operandi is such that you work systematically, you can see I showed you a system, a clear system, that if you start at a point and work towards what you are looking for, right? And if you do that, I'm sure you can come directly to your answer. And you've, you can see I've given you a detailed explanation on how to arrive at the cost price of that particular vehicle. Because that's what they asked us to do. Okay, next question. Prepare the expected asset disposal account for the trade-in of the old hairdressing equipment on the 1st of July 2010. Right, we are into an asset disposal account. Let's look at what, we, what is required of us. Let's just get to the asset disposal account so we know clearly how we can go about answering that question. Remember, it's question six we're working with. There goes, no, it's question six. There goes to question six. Let's get to question six so we can answer that particular one. There it is. Now, when you are answering a question on asset disposal, collect all the info regarding the asset that you are disposing of. Okay, in other words, what are we going to say? We're going to do this. Depreciation, cost price, accumulated depreciation, carrying value, selling price, profit or loss. Okay, now you're seeing me doing something. And this is what I call the table when you are working with an asset disposal. Always draw a table and put in information regarding this particular asset that you are disposing. Let's go to the question. Right? Here it is. We want to sell all the old equipment and that's the value. The cost price was 164,000 Rand. Therefore, into my cost price, 164,000 Rand. Clear. Got that. Okay. Now, 
The next thing that I do is I go back to my question and I see the accumulated depreciation was 153,750. So therefore, accumulated depreciation 153,750. And immediately I put a plus sign there because what I want to do now is I want to calculate that, that figures are when, as at the 31st of March 2010, right? She intends to replace all this of this on the 1st of July 2010. That means at the end of my financial year, which was 153,750, I've got that figure as my accumulated depreciation, but the sale is only going to take place in the next financial year on the 1st of July. So March, April, May, and June are still three months that I need to account for my depreciation. Got that. Okay. Now, going back in here, and we're seeing that, how do we calculate depreciation on the hairdressing equipment? It's calculated at 15% per annum on cost. So into my calculator, and I say 164,000 times 15%, which is equal to 24,600 for the year, that was the per annum figure, divide this by 12, multiply it by 3, and I'm going to get a figure of 6,150. Okay, now that figure is important because I say depreciation, 6,150. 6, Immediately what I do, I add it to my accumulated depreciation, 6,150 to give me my new accumulated depreciation, which will be, what did I initially have? 153,750 plus 153,750, and my answer is 159,900. 59,900. To recap, the old accumulated that was given to me, there's it in my question paper, plus the new accumulated that I calculated. Remember, we said that calculation was for the three months. Let me show you the calculation so you are clear amount, rate, and time. We always use art, amount, the rate, and the time. Okay, what was, the, what was the amount? It was 164,000 times 15 over 100 times 3 over 12, and this gave us the 6,150, that one there. Okay, stay with us, because what we're going to do is we're going to complete this asset disposal account. Very important as soon as we get back.